Hey guys, today is a super exciting day because today we are diving into a brand new Adobe Premiere Pro extension called Brevity Media. If you're someone who creates social media style content or works with stock media, this is going to blow your mind. With Brevity, you are basically getting After Effects style animation tool inside Adobe Premiere Pro. No dynamic linking, no asset juggling, just fast, easy, pro level motion graphic and stock media integration in Adobe Premiere Pro. Be sure to click in the first link in the description to get 7 days of free trial of Brevity. If you like that plugin, then you can purchase their subscription. I'll put all the details in the description. So without wasting any more time, let's see how you can use Brevity Media tool. The first thing that you need to do to install Brevity plugin. So just download that and install that. Once you install Brevity plugin, you will get two separate plugin. And if you are an existing subscriber, just update the plugin, you will get the Brevity Media panel there. So if I go to window and from here, if I go to extension, I can select dvd if i click here i can just sign in the first thing is to make a caption for that sequence so i'll just go to at the end of my timeline and press o to make an out point and from here i can add captions you can select any style so i have already made a video about the caption so you can just watch that video so in brevity once you add the caption you can take your time to modify the caption and style your caption as you want once you do that you can go to window and there you'll see another panel which is brevity media browser plugin you will get it automatically with the brevity subscription you can just sign in and from here you can add different elements different media on your timeline so suppose here on that point maybe i want to add a camera how i can do that i can go here and from that section i can go to new i can search for any media if i want suppose i want to search for camera and then you will see different categories like videos gifs images emojis and audios you can add different things here so for videos you will see two separate media provider again for gifs you'll see different media providers so under each category you'll find several media providers so i'll just select pixel and from here suppose i want to add this one once i select that one i can select the resolution that i want to download i want to download the hd version and then continue and from here you can select the position if you want to feed the media to your screen you can just select screen fit and from here full screen and then from the intro you can use a intro animation in animation and also you can use out animation for the media so for now i'll just give it none again for outro you can select animation and from the constant section you can add a constant animation throughout the duration of that media right so i'll not add that for this video clip i'll just make it simple and clean so if i click on insert media it will download that media and place it here on my timeline you can see it has already made the clip full screen to feed the uh, timeline so if i play it back all this remote let you zoom in and zoom out effortlessly and so like that you can add different media on your timeline so if i go back to brevity and then from media i can also use the previously uh, brevity media panel to add different media clips so suppose from here i want to select this keyword which is cinematic i can select the section i want to have that clip and then it will automatically search that keyword right so here you can see it has searched the cinematic keyword on this video section now i can select any video that i want to add from here so for this clip i will not use a video clip i will use maybe a gif or images suppose i want to use an image on the image section you'll see pixels on splash pixel way and several media provider you can use any media provider that you want suppose i want to add this photo i can select the resolution i'll just use a smaller resolution maybe this one and then if i click on continue it will show the next screen and from here i will just make it fit and then from the intersection i can add slide left animation i can select a curve so you'll see there are several preset curve here so you don't need to 
mess up with keyframe animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I can just select exponential and from here I can select the intensity and speed. Like that you can also select outro animation. So I'll just select slide down and also from here I will just select maybe this one. And from the constant you can add movement like from the movement section you can use oscillate, rotate, wiggle, whatever you want. I will just use wiggle, right? and i'll just use the default value here now if i click insert media it will download that image and it will insert that media here on my timeline within a second and you can see the result from here right so if i play it back want that cinematic look or to frame your shots just right as a solo content so you can see it is just sliding from left and then it has that wiggle animation after that it is just going down right if i play it back again want that cinematic look or to frame your shots just right as a solo content no suppose you don't want that animation you want maybe another animation for intro another animation for outro you can also modify that from this section so from the intro i can just maybe use position and scale so from left and for the outro i'll just use maybe simple fit and then if i click on update media it will update the parameter i have set and it will do that thing within a second so if i play it back on that cinematic look or to frame your shots just right as a solo content creator so you can have several looks very easily using this media browser plugin again I want to use some emojis for my video. I can use the AI to suggest some emojis for this particular video. So if I go here and from this suggest media section, if I click here, it will open this window. I can select emojis and you can use Google emojis, Google animated emojis, which is very, very good. So I'll just select this one and the position I'll select caption relative and above caption. And you can add your own touch suppose i want to make it more serious or more funny so i can just uh, add my context which is make it funny and then from the intro animation i'll select slide and slide up i'll select exponential and the outro i'll select slide and then slide down and this one and for constant, I'll just select the wiggle animation. Now, if I click on generate, it will use AI to suggest different emojis for my video. So it will take some time depending on the internet speed. The suggestion is done. You can review the suggestion. I'll not review. Um, I'll just click import pending. It will import all the emojis one by one if you just click import pending or you can just manually review and manually download the images one by one i'll not do that it is also applying the animation at once when it is placing the emojis here on the timeline so it's done if i play it back here is a tool that turns your so Sony you can camera see the animation is going up system. and going Meet down the bluetooth remote that so to you can also change the animation if you want to select the emojis and then you can go to brevity media browser and from here you can also change the animation if you want at any point so that is a very easy process to work on and i think it will save a lot of time when you are working in adobe premiere pro you don't need to take the time to animate each and every elements in adobe premiere pro so that's it that is how you can use the brevity plugin in adobe premiere pro to animate your media very easily if you want to try BreeVD plugin, then you can click on the first link in the description. You will get seven days of free trial if you click in the link. And if you like it, then you can just purchase their subscription. That is all for today. I hope you have liked this video. And if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. If you know this channel want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro video editing, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.